Hey Astro Kids and welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to discuss a little bit about this black moon, this new moon that we're going to be having on July 31st. So we are ending the month of July with this new moon in Leo. And this is our second new moon of this month. So this is a black moon. Now this new moon is very powerful. This is a portal, a doorway, an access point to your happiness, oh. to love, to peace. This is your time to shine. With this new moon in Leo, this is really calling for you to be truly authentic and to truly express yourself. And for a lot of you who are coming out of this emotional place that we've been in with this eclipse season and Mercury in retrograde on top of it, this can be challenging to come to this point where you're going to express yourself, express how you truly feel, Say what you want to say. Say what comes from your heart. This is difficult for a lot of you coming out of this eclipse season and this Mercury in retrograde. We're dealing with this cancer energy that is very emotional, very sensitive. We were very much confronted with a lot of heavy emotion. A lot of feelings came up with this Mercury in retrograde. And this really depends on which house this was affecting for you but for a lot of you this is bringing up some feelings that you may or may not know how to handle or deal with and so coming into this new moon and leo it's important that you realize that now is your time to express how you feel now is your time to express your truth, to be authentic. With this Leo energy, it's okay for you to be bold. It's okay for you to do what makes you happy, even if it doesn't make others happy. It's okay for you to speak from your heart. It's okay for you to be who you are. This is about you having the most bright, fun, happy, and ex successful experience in your life. This is a shift. This is us shifting. And this is completely new energy that we are moving into with this shift. And on July 1st, Mercury does come direct and it will still be in a post shadow. So this will still be in a review period where some things can come up, some old situations, some old feelings. And the trick for a lot of you is going to not react to the things that come up, to not react based on how you feel. Just let go and allow yourself to feel, allow yourself to experience these feelings. This is an opportunity for you to see these old things confronted 
to you so that you know the steps that you need to take to release these things that no longer serve you. We are moving into a completely different space. And now is the time to do it because as we get closer to the end of the year, this Capricorn energy will build up. And especially moving into 2020, this brand new decade. Next year will not be as easy and light as this year is. And it may seem heavy, it may seem difficult to you coming out of this eclipse season. But that's the thing, once we come out of this eclipse season, everything is light, it's bright. This is for you to raise your consciousness. This is for you to have your happy experience, for you to shine. at your brightest. This is completely new. You do not want to carry anything that doesn't serve you. So pay attention to that as we are shifting into this new space. And yes, as we shift into this new space, we are dealing with both Leo and Cancer. And so the way that you express yourself is not only calling for you to be bold, calling for you to be authentic, to be true, to come from a place of love, of joy, from your heart space. But this is also calling for you to express your feelings. And for those of you who do not regularly express your feelings, and you keep those feelings, and you hold on to them, this is going to build up for you, and it's going to be more and more difficult. So it's important that you utilize this time to express how you feel. And some of you may feel vulnerable, some of you may cry, some of you may need time to yourself. And a lot of people out there feel like that makes them weak, that that's not okay. And I'm here to tell you that it is okay. It is okay for you to feel it is okay for you to express how you feel. It's okay if you need to take time to yourself to process and to get through these feelings. It's okay to cry. No one's going to judge you or think that you're weak if you cry. It's a very human thing. It is okay for you to feel with this Cancer and Leo energy, you are being asked to feel. And that is why these things are coming up for you. Because it's time for you to finally be okay with feeling, with expressing your feelings, with allowing it to flow through you. It's okay for you to be vulnerable because that is where you find your strength. You can't know how to be strong without being weak. This is a transformation, a growing process that you are going through. And there is a light at the end of this tunnel. That is this new moon in Leo this energy that is light, that is positive, that is loving. It's 
take back your power in expressing how you feel and being authentic and allowing yourself to be human and allowing these feelings to flow through you and facing these feelings. In the month of August, Uranus will go retrograde. And by that point, it will break down and destroy these old things that we are attached to, these old feelings of comfort and safety. Get out of these places of comfort and safety. Because a lot of the time, these places where we feel comfortable are not good for us. They aren't helping us to grow. And we stay there, not because it's good for us, but because it's familiar. We as humans... A lot of times we tend to stick to what's familiar because we think it's safe, we think it's comfortable to stay there. And I am here to tell you that you are a multi dimensional being. There's so much more to you than this physical vessel, and staying in your place of comfort and safety when it doesn't hold any value in your life or do anything good for you, does not help you grow and expand on your journey. A lot of you have not even tapped into your full potential because we're stuck on these old things that don't serve us, these old places, these old things that we're attached to, these old values, these old belief systems, and it's all fear-based because it is an attachment to the past. It's an attachment to what feels familiar to us. We don't want to change to grow, to come out of this place of what feels safe and familiar to us. but you are being called to change because as a collective, we are growing and changing and we see so many signs of this, so many old souls on the planet. So many star seeds, so many connections to these extraterrestrial beings. We are tapping into our higher consciousness. We are becoming more aware. Look at these relationships that we are now moving into that are more authentic. People are starting to want these relationships that are more loving. And this is where we are changing, we are growing. And so with this, You have your own individual growth that you have to go through. And it doesn't end here. You will constantly transform throughout your life. And it's important that as you are transforming, 
that you go with the flow, that you allow yourself to feel, that you allow yourself to express your feelings. We are multidimensional beings living a physical experience. We are here to be human. We are here to feel. We are here to be connected. Here to learn, to grow. And so this is the part of yourself that you must work and improve on. Is what do you really feel? And a lot of you are tapped in to the technology that's all around us. And so we're constantly being feeded information and stimuli in our environment. We're constantly living in our headspace. And I said this in an earlier video, but I will say it again because I feel that this is so vitally important. You must learn how to bring yourself back into your body, how to feel. How to go deeper into who you are. Some of you will give up or you will say that you can't do something or you'll find yourself procrastinating, not accomplishing your goals. doing these jobs or these tasks, these things that don't truly make you happy or align with your soul's purpose. And we are going through this massive change where you have to do something that benefits you. What truly makes you happy? What is truly the most authentic thing that you can do in your life right now? It must align with your soul's purpose. If you are just doing something to do it, then you are becoming a slave to your mind. It's like a zombie. We're not feeling anything. We're just living in our head spaces. And so check in whether you need to meditate or go for a walk in nature or journal or express how you feel with someone who is supportive, someone who someone who is helping you on your journey, someone who is aligned with your soul's purpose. Because once you tap into that feeling, that is where you find what you love to do, what makes you happy, what serves you, what is the most authentic thing that you can do, what are you truly pas passionate about, what gifts or abilities or talents can you share with the world? And some of you may think that 
what you love to do won't make you money or won't be successful. But there is always a way for you to succeed. There is always a way for you to grow in your life. Whether that means working a job that you don't really want to do and doing what you love on the side, growing what you love, making it a business. But a lot of you need to do what you truly love. And if what you love is the normal way of life that society tells us to be, then that's fine. then that is for you. That's what makes you happy. But if that does not make you happy, then a change has to be made because otherwise you are not experiencing life and truly feeling this human experience. And so a lot of you need to make some serious changes, whether this is dealing with relationships or business or any area of your life that is not aligned with your true purpose. And this is so important. I've been talking about this since the end of last year with the North Node in Cancer, South Node in Capricorn. We need to learn how to release these old systems or structures in our life that don't serve us. These things that don't benefit us in any way. It's time to let it go. And that doesn't mean that you have to do it right now. But as soon as you can, take one step to make it happen. Whether that means visualizing what truly makes you happy or saying an affirmation writing it down this will help you on this journey to living your highest, greatest good. And for those of you who have been setting intentions and you have been thinking about this and writing it down and visualizing it, that means that it's time for you to act on it. A lot of times, the easy part for us is to set the intention. And the hard part is to actually do the work and to make this thing happen for you. And so if that is you, you need to take action. Say that you will take action today. Don't put it off and say, I'll do it tomorrow or next week next month, next year. Set the intention that you will do it now. Work on this now. 
This is how you put things into motion in your life. A lot of you want to manifest so many different things into your life. And the only thing that's missing is the action part. A lot of you have these things that you want to manifest into your life. And if you take the risk, if you do what you're afraid of, if you take the steps to initiate this into action, for a lot of you, that's all it really takes. A lot of you, for whatever reason, and this is me included, are holding yourselves back from putting your dreams into action. A lot of you are in a place of fear or a place of doubt, a place of worry. place of waiting and then the question becomes what are you waiting for if you wait tomorrow then that turns into waiting to the day after till waiting to till the next week until waiting until the next month and the next year that's what happens when we put things on wait. When we put things off and we say that we're going to do it later. Then later continues to turn into later. And so for a lot of you, you have to set the intention that you will do it now. And that does not mean that you have to do it all now. It does not mean that the manifestation will happen right now. It does take time. It does take steps to put this thing into action. But if you set the intention to do it now, then that means that you will take at least one step to start right now and that will create a domino effect for you to do the work that needs to be done. Don't say that you will wait. Say that you will do it now and take one little tiny step, that's all you need. Take one step right now and you will be on your way to manifesting what you want to bring into your life. Set the intention. If you want to start your own business and you want it to be successful, but you are worried about the money, set the intention. Say, I am prosperous. I am abundant. I am rich. You set that intention and it becomes your reality. Also with Mercury coming direct in Cancer, be careful that you are not jumping into reacting to things right away. With Mercury and Cancer, this is emotional, and so you may get your feelings hurt. If someone hurts your feelings with this Mercury and Cancer, do not react. If you cannot respond in a positive way 
just wait. If someone hurts your feelings during this Mercury in retrograde, just tell them how you feel. Again, we need to get into the habit of expressing our feelings. And that doesn't mean getting angry and being confrontational. That means authentically and compassionately expressing how you feel. Just say, I'm feeling really upset right now. I need a break. Can we discuss this later? There's no reason that you should yell at anyone if they hurt your feelings. Because with this Mercury in Cancer, and especially with it still being in pre-shadow, I'm sorry, with it being in post-shadow, there can be misunderstandings. A lot of times you are seeing from your perspective and you are unable because you were in that situation. You're not viewing the situation from the outside. You were involved in the situation. Therefore, you are seeing from your perspective. You're not seeing from that other person's perspective. And so you don't know what they're feeling. You don't know what's going on in their life. And so if someone gets under your skin Do not react. Simply respond in the most compassionate and authentic way possible. Express how you feel without getting defensive. And I think that's all I really had to say about this new moon in Leo and Mercury coming direct. Just pay attention to how you are expressing yourself. We are moving into a lighter, more positive, more laid back space where things aren't as intense or heavy or nearly as emotional as it was when we were in eclipse season. Okay, so as we come out of this, July 31st, going into August 1st, things will become lighter. And even when they do, remember that Mercury is direct in Cancer. So pay attention to your feelings. We need to get in the habit of getting into our feelings. And that is what Mercury and Cancer is about. It is examining and trying to figure out and understand your feelings, your emotions. And so do not react. Simply respond. All right. That is all I have for you today. I hope you all have a great day. 
And if you are interested in a free reading, I will be live later this evening. So keep an eye out for that. And if you want to be notified, make sure that you hit the notification bell. YouTube does not notify you anymore unless you hit the notification bell. So make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you know when my new videos are coming out. All right, have a great day. This is just a reminder for you to subscribe if you are new to this channel and also to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new content.